this is a, a really exciting time and this is one of those areas where none of us can do it alone. The federal government can't, the in industry can't. We have to work together and find solutions in order to get our students prepared for the next generation that they're going to be facing. So 263 million students are going to be ready to enter college by 2025. Just to put that in perspective, if we were to build four universities every week, I mean big, you know, capable of serving 30,000 students every week between now and then, we'd just barely make it. We have a huge demand and clearly we're not going to be able to meet that with the traditional model of building larger buildings. have to look to new things. And it's such an exciting time to do that. Does a student always need to be on campus the whole time? Right? I, I don't know, these are the models that we're exploring. But we have to look at those because we're not going to meet the access issue uh, if we don't. How do we look at making uh, schools more affordable? Well, I think technology plays a really important role there as well. One thing that is important to mention is personalizing learning. Right? So any amount of learning, any time that I'm sitting in a class that I don't need, Right, that's wasted time. It's wasted money. And so one of the things I think we need to look at is how do we personalize to make sure I'm getting just what I need and when I need it and not stuff that I don't need or, or stuff that I have learned in other places because I've had other, uh, other experiences. And one more example that I'll tell you that I think is a huge piece. Often when we look at the cost of, of education, we're looking at the tuition. Right? And there are ways that I just mentioned, new models that we can, we can look at, at, at that. But we leave off of there the enormous cost of print textbooks. Right? So I think leveraging open educational resources, new media that's available can, can save lots of money and there's lots of ways to leverage not only save money but also have more effective uh, content. Uh, and so those are all areas that we're looking at and definitely need uh, help and support of, of everybody to find smart ways to leverage technology to lower costs and try to deal with this access issue.